and we have some little cabbages here that I uh, little tree colors actually amongst these cabbages that were purchased but these little pony packs are what I've been using and so they're like repurposed these little cuttings tree collars I can cut some for you I don't mind I got plenty of them some more cabbages and then the propagation various different I don't know if those are all in focus Egyptian spinach and other so it's going to take some time here's a little scan of the potted plants are still let's go over here and i'm trying to grow some chili peppers they haven't come up obviously and oh look poppies and mary transplanted one of our split leaf philodendrons yesterday and then uh, more kale and these are red beets which I uh, didn't plant from seed they're all from transplants and now I'll go into the garden oh yeah here's some more various so I planted these are sage and I know it's really bright here but this is lemon balm oh, it looks like mint and then we needed a new rosemary because after 15 years our rosemary plant croaked I killed it I cut it back too much and now this one is so I wanted to show you these. I bought these trants as little tiny, like literally, like slips. Uh, we have one plant here, another plant here, a little taller one there, and then a really big one. I'll turn the camera here a little bit. This one's almost three feet tall. So these are goji berries and pomegranate. I figured, hey, I'm alive, so I'll grow them. They were two for six bucks each. Of course, they would have been 36 bucks each if I had bought them full grown, ready to harvest. And there's a good use for an old greenhouse that the tarp died, and now it's nothing. But here's a tree collard. An idea of the size of this thing. So there's the fence. It's a traditional fence height. I think that's probably like seven feet. And the other free starts in the garden, you might be able to harvest this out of your garden. This is called garden cress. Similar, similar to. Uh, watercress or still flowers they look just like mustard now most of the flowers are gone here are the flowers and these are the seed pods and these seed pods look very similar to broccoli or collards or red chard over the next couple months these seed pods will double or even triple in size and then you'll have plenty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it always let it go to seed. And so in the early spring and late winter, these start popping up. And they're perfectly edible. And they're free. And here's the little slug trap. 
<clears throat> oh yeah, leaf compost bin. So I wanted to show you, I know this is quite a long video, I wanted to show you my uh, composter. So it's out here in the back 40. And this is called a Dora 270. This is the mid-size double tumbler. Look, it's one of the residents. And I wanted to show you the inside because this is, <clears throat> it's been about two months since I put anything in this side. Except for yesterday when I put a little soil and some leaves in. See if we can get some shade in here. Maybe this will be easier for you to see. So let's if you can see some of the leaf compost. Just wanted to feed the uh, worms just a little bit more food before harvest. This is pretty much the way it is when you have a really excellent compost tumbler. It's probably the best one on the market. Just wanted to show you, not every seed is always compost, so you have to be a little bit more careful. But it's pretty prolific. Even though I had put a little bit of food in here for the worms for the next couple of days, still things don't compost. Let's see if that's anyway, seeds are still there. See that's pumpkin seeds. So you have to be a little bit more aware. If you don't care if they're completely broken down or not, that's fine. As long as you're a little bit aware that you're going to get uh, some things are really durable. So that's the side that I'm going to harvest that soil from. And then this is the side that I'm still filling. You can see... Everything looks still pretty much intact in here. Still the worm population is incredible. So some of that's because I'm putting my worm compost in there. Uh, worm castings, I'm sorry. And then uh, some of it's <clears throat> because I'm putting also biochar in there. <clears throat> it's my little stack of biochar and uh, rock dust and insect frass. So just wanted to show you kind of a quick garden tour. This is a free start. Red chard. I don't take up any of the uh, dandelions. But what I wanted to also show you is this carpet of red chard. And not only is it here, but it's over here. And potatoes from last year, they decided they had enough still in the soil. And then there... <clears throat> so I wanted to show you this. I'm going to bring you some of these seeds here. This is Echinacea. This is what a seed, go to seed flower looks like. Not as pretty as those crimson flowers with the, with the uh, frilly edge, but pretty beautiful. You get a lot of flowers that are like that or larger. It's an old composter that I don't use anymore. Anyway, I wanted to show you this uh, echinacea stand and a little tour of the garden. And all these little containers have the slug, well, there's an open container, 
for slugs. And see here are the, some of the red chard that have grown up a little faster. So there's plenty of harvest for cruciferous vegetables. This one's getting ready to flower. And you can harvest the flowers just like broccoli would be a little different flavor, very similar in its nutrient content. Lots of uh, lots of growth in the garden. And then there's a uh, artichoke, which as you know is a perennial. More potatoes. Go over here. Tomcat. That's actually his name. Tommy Peacock. It's a Norwegian forest cat. Actually likes me. And a newly planted oregano. I just wanted to show you some of the garden area here. I do apologize for the length of this video. Quite long. <clears throat> Kale. I've been waiting over 10 years for this amaryllis to flower. I've never had very much success. Mostly because uh, snails love it and it, flower has always been eaten every single year. Look at that. You and I are the first ones to see one of these edibles to become 